the game more clearly with extra view lenses from Norval Opticians with £50 off our exclusive freeform frames. And on to um, the final, how do you re-energise the squad after back-to-back six-day turnarounds? Uh, that's part of the challenge, um, but the players that we have, we, we're used to it now in a season like this where you're playing quite often with, sh with short turnarounds, we're obviously able to get our players in a good place and with a cup final there's not a huge amount of motivation required. Everybody knows how important this, this game is um, for the club. Um, everybody knows that while we've got to win this weekend, we've also the opportunity still to get this club back into, get Gloucester back into the Champions Cup and that's, that's been part of the motivation since the start of the year. But first and foremost it's been about getting ready for the challenge that Stade Francais will bring and the quality of play that they, they, they bring. And well, we spoke about the back-to-back -back six-day turnaround and also back-to-back -back defeats. Will that matter going into the final? I'd much prefer to come off back-to-back -back wins. You know that, that's that's just the nature of sport. But we also, because it's a cup final, I do think that especially in this competition, we we have every time we've had to, we've lifted our performance, we've responded to defeats, to injuries. This week will be no different. It's a cup final. Players throughout their career don't always get many opportunities to to play in cup finals. When it comes along, you've got to make sure that you're in the best place you can to win, and that'll be very much the case when we turn up at Murrayfield on Friday evening. You mentioned. Uh, just a second ago about the, about the quality of Stade Francais. They've got a great 8, 9, 10 spine with threats elsewhere. How do you how do you see the challenge that they pose? We've tried very much throughout the course of this competition to make sure that our, our primary focus has been ourselves, and particularly over the course of the last couple of months, what we've said is every week we've got to go into the game, no matter who we're playing against, very well prepared, make sure that we cut out some of the mistakes that have plagued us earlier in the season. And even last weekend against Exeter, we played some great rugby. We caused them... Um, Lots of problems. We created lots of try-scoring opportunities, but just didn't take the opportunities that, that really we created and came along. We've got to make sure in a cup final that when we create those sort of opportunities, we do take them. And presumably, you'll be asking for a similar sort of a similar sort of intensity to, to that that beat La Rochelle in the semi-final. Not just asking for it. You expect it when you're playing in a cup final. You know if you want to win a cup final, um, you're going to be playing against players who are extremely motivated, desperate to win there. They're in a very similar situation to ourselves where they haven't got Champions Cup rugby for next year. They will go into the playoffs regardless of the outcome this weekend. So both, both teams have still a huge amount at stake really across the rest of the season. Um, Murrayfield, obviously two of your players label and um, that Scott will be very much yeah. used to playing there. How much, how much of a use will that, how much of an advantage will that be for you? Uh, they're obviously very comfortable playing there. I'm not sure in the game itself it's, it, it'll make any huge have any huge significance. I think players are so used now to travelling around, playing everywhere, different games. We've been used to play Twickenham this year. So our, our players enjoy playing in big st big stadia. They enjoy playing in front of big crowds. They enjoy being part of big occasions. And um, Murrayfield this Friday night will be that. Now, of course, you won the competition in 2006 and 2015. Stade Francais have never won in a final. How much will you use your experience in 2015 to, to help you on your way this Friday? There's no doubt that players who have experienced international rugby, who have experienced cup finals, it, it does help you. You look forward to it. You know it's great to be part of it, but it's also most important to win it. Um, so for us, we, we've got players who have experienced international rugby. We've players who've experienced finals and success in Super Rugby. So right throughout the span of our team, I think it will be something that will inspire them more than cause them any any concern or anxiety. You've got to look forward to a cup final. This is, this is our opportunity to go out and put behind what has been a, a disappointing um, few months in the Premiership and finish the season on a high.